Hello, my fellow forgiven sinners. This is our first video in a short series that we're going to do on God and government. How do we as Christians look at politics, look at how we uh, are able to interact with our government uh, in this kind of unique way in this, again, uh, the world that we live in here today, and especially specifically in the country I'm from, the United States of America. Uh, one thing we want to keep in mind is we have a very different relationship to our government here in the United States in the 21st century uh, than, than the vast majority of Christians have had throughout history. Uh, for a lot of people, the vast majority of humanity, their politics has been, that dude's king and we have to do whatever he says. You know, that's kind of it. Uh, today, we actually get to, to participate in the process to a, a, a much greater degree than has been happening uh, in the past. Now, in, for this video, to start off this uh, series on politics, um, on God and government, rather. Um, I want to start off by having us just assert what is it that unites Christians? Uh, in the creeds, we confess that we believe in the holy Christian church, the communion of saints. Now, the thing that unifies Christianity is not that we support this candidate or that candidate, or we want these policies or those policies. The thing that unites Christians is the fact that we are under one king, Jesus Christ. And so we as Christians can disagree with each other. We can come to different conclusions as we take in the data, as we use our reason, as we look at history. We can come to different conclusions in politics. We can disagree with each other and still be united as Christians. And therefore, I want us to consider uh, this, this uh, word of God from the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 8. There he's talking about adiaphora. He's talking about something that God has neither commanded nor forbidden. Uh, and they're specifically talking about eating meat that has been sacrificed to idols. But Paul comes to the conclusion that he would rather never eat meat again. Even though he's free to eat that meat, he would rather never eat meat again if that would be a benefit to his fellow believer. And I think that's valuable for us to take into this consideration. If you're ever in a, in a place where you're having a discussion on politics with your friend uh, or, or with a family member or a fellow Christian specifically, Let's not use those politics, let's not use our beliefs, the conclusions that we have come to, to destroy somebody else. And specifically, especially, to destroy somebody else's faith, right? Uh, and this kind of gets into the, the idea of Christian tolerance. Now, Christian tolerance is very different from uh, our, our culture's idea of tolerance. Our culture's idea of tolerance is, you had better celebrate everything I am and everything I do or else I will crucify you, right? That's kind of how tolerance is in our culture. Uh, tolerance from the basis of the Bible is, I disagree with you. I think you're very wrong, but I still care about you. I still want what is best for you, and I am still going to pursue what is best for you, even, even at my expense. Okay, now, uh, And so therefore, if you're ever in a discussion, uh, having poli uh, political discussions with somebody, let's keep this uh, aspect of love in, in mind, right? Uh, as we have Christian freedom now. God hasn't told us, thou shalt have this form of government. Uh, and so as different people come to different conclusions with their reason, with the data that they have seen in their life, again, all of us are dealing with a lot of different sets of data in, in our you know, mass media culture and that kind of thing. Uh, let's treat each other with a little bit of charity, a little bit of grace. Uh, let's assume the other person does actually want what is best uh, for their society, for the people around them. Uh, and so there, therefore, hopefully, we can have a little bit more valuable discussions. Uh, just kind of a disclaimer again, just kind of a, a start off video here. We'll continue on later very soon. God's richest blessings on you till we meet again. And I say, I say, I say, can't be that easy. And he said, he said.